or one of the obstacles at hand is actually uh, the wide availability of labor and uh. the assumption that uh, the managers have that people still prefer to deal with uh, humans, yeah, which is not entirely true. BFM 89.9, good morning, I'm Roshan Kanesan and welcome to a special four-part series here on Tech Talk where we will be decoding digitalization with Maxis Business. In this final episode of the series, we will be covering the importance of connectivity for businesses of all sizes. In the dynamic digital landscape of today, the role of connectivity in business is pivotal. It extends beyond basic communication, serving as a fundamental component that drives growth innovation and enhances operational efficiency. This shift has transformed connectivity into a critical element for businesses, for business success and sustainability. It has leveled the playing field, providing businesses of all sizes access to global markets, resources and information. Small and medium enterprises can now engage in e-commerce, reach broader audiences and utilize data with the same proficiency as larger organizations. For bigger companies, connectivity is key to maintaining seamless operations across various regions, promoting teamwork among diverse groups and efficiently managing intricate supply chains. In this interconnected environment, the essence of connectivity transcends technological capabilities. It involves creating expansive networks, nurturing relationships and encouraging collaborations that advance business objectives. This evolution positions the concept of connecting businesses of all sizes as a fundamental strategy in today's corporate world, essential for tapping into new opportunities and navigating the challenges of a constantly evolving business landscape. So today's discussion on connecting businesses of all sizes will explore the the significance of connectivity in transforming, elevating and driving growth and decoding the future of businesses of all sizes. Right. Speaking with us today is Go Xiao Eng, the Chief Executive Officer of Maxis Group, Brahad. Eng, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Roshan, and thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to speak to you in person and in the studio. It's not always that we get to have you in here with us. Uh, let's start with a, setting a bit of the scene, sure. you know, particularly mm -hmm. that we are in a new year now. Um, what is the state of digital adoption and the state of connectivity among businesses, particularly the mid-market businesses? Yeah, well, I returned to Malaysia in November 2022, so about 14 months ago, and uh, joined Maxis. And from the businesses I've met so far, the businesses I've encountered from talking to people uh, in the industry, frankly, the state is not high. Mm. There's a lot more that can be done. There's a lot more that can be improved. Uh, in terms of one is uh, the knowledge of the business owners or the people running the business. And two is, I, I think it's also the willingness of the people running the business wanting to adopt di digital solutions. And I think one of the issues or one of the obstacles at hand is actually uh, the wide availability of labor and uh. the assumption that uh, the managers have that people still prefer to deal with uh, humans, yeah, which is not entirely true. I think in many cases, uh, customers uh, would prefer to deal with that digital app or that website. Uh, it makes for a far more seamless and far faster transaction. So it's both a matter of state of mind and also two is um, just uh, the one thing, the will to adopt uh, digitalization. And you know, uh, in the last few years has seen us push towards more digitalization from the pandemic <clears throat> and last year, obviously, the big story was ChatGPT and, and, uh, and AI. So the need to be connected, especially in this world where a lot of IoT is uh, essential to businesses is uh, now becoming even more important and it's a big part of this four-part series that we've been doing. Uh, that said, many people may know Maxis is more of a consumer brand. So talk to us about, I guess, what Maxis is doing on the uh, business and enterprise side. Okay. Maxis started live 29 years ago now. I think we started <laughs> in 1995 as a consumer mobile brand. And yeah. that's what Maxis is known for. Um, but Maxis over the years has really grown up to today where we can call ourselves a truly integrated telco provider or connectivity provider. This means that we provide not just our core mobile services, mm. but we also provide uh, 
fiber connectivity, whether through standard fiber broadband services or through dedicated uh, internet access or through software-defined uh, wide area network. We also provide uh, a lot of uh, solutions uh, or consulting uh, in terms of uh, customers, and these are business customers who want to migrate to the cloud, uh, who need uh, cybersecurity solutions, mm. uh, who need a package of uh, uh, digitalization services. And that's what uh, an integrated telco provides. And we proudly count ourselves to be a, an integrated telco provider. Now, there are many ways that SMEs or businesses of any size can utilize the money that they have and invest in themselves. And some may argue that there are other more concerning uh, uh, priorities on the list of things to invest in. So of all the possible ways that money could be invested, why is connectivity, especially uh, 5G, important in their digitalization journeys? Well, I think, you know, um, connectivity is so much ingrained or part and parcel of digitalization that really you cannot have one without the other. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine you can digitalize, but nobody can connect to you. And so nobody can translate. So uh, connectivity is, a, it is an imperative here. And it's not just connectivity, but it's also connectivity that's, you know, one, fast, two, reliable, and three, secure. Mm. Yeah, and that enables uh, the businesses, customers, and whether these customers are consumers or uh, other enterprises, to be able to transact securely, reliably, uh, and in a speedy manner with that uh, with that business. So connectivity is very much part and parcel of digitalization. You cannot have digitalization without that uh, connectivity. Now, following up on that point in terms of, you know, how uh, businesses can think, uh, have a, I guess, limited number of resources and they have to prioritize in terms of how they mm -hmm. invest that money. How would you suggest an SM, how would you suggest SMEs budget and plan for their connectivity and technology spending? First of all, I would highly recommend that the SME find uh, itself a trusted uh, and knowledgeable partner. Mm. And this is a ICT or a telco partner like Maxis uh, to embark in this uh, journey. And this partner will help the SME or the enterprise uh, answer the series of questions. The first one would be, of course, um, what are my business priorities? Right. What are the things I want to achieve in my uh, business for this year and for the next three years? Right. And these are the things that I, I must do to digitalize. These are the things that I need to, uh, these are the objectives I need to meet, and these are the objectives I need to meet by digitalization. And that's where you put your ringgit and cents uh, into, into those efforts, because those are your key mm -hmm. efforts. Number two is don't just look at your current needs, but look at your future needs too. So your digital investments that you're putting in, are they scalable? Um, are they uh, upgradable? Are they in a way uh, future-proof? And thirdly, and but not lastly, uh, is uh, in terms of cybersecurity, right? Because uh, digitalization and connectivity and all that, all very good and all that, but it's also a strong temptation for the hacker. So one needs to have that uh, secure uh, connection, that secure systems. And that's where cybersecurity comes in. So in short, a uh, few things. Your business priorities, two is... Uh, in terms of your future needs, and then three in terms of cybersecurity. Now, and obviously, depending on the size of the business, there will be different needs, specialized needs that those companies or those uh, entities may need. So tell us a little bit about how Maxis caters to the needs of the typical mid-market business customer. Okay. Um, rather than uh, narrate in generic <laughs> terms, let me give you three examples, right? That's a world-renowned EV manufacturer that just entered the market and that needed uh, connectivity for the cars itself in Malaysia. And they need that co connectivity for over-the-air software updates. They needed to provide what one would call value-added services to the owners and drivers of the car. Things like music, enhanced maps and all that. Uh, Maxis put together an IoT solution uh, for that enterprise customer to use. So that's one example. That's a very large enterprise, right? Secondly, it's about uh, you know, a bank. Mm. A bank that needs, you know, again, fast, reliable, and secure systems to be able to digitally 
connect and serve their customers. And these are both uh, consumer customers as well as enterprise customers of the bank. Maxis was able to provide or provided uh, uh, on-premise uh, cloud solution system for the bank. And Maxis also provided the cloud management uh, platform for the bank to use. Mm. Right. So it's almost an end-to-end -end solution for the bank uh, to digitalize. Uh, thirdly, is a state agency of a large state that needed is water meters read. Mm. You know, water meter <laughs> reading is very much a manual thing, right? You get yeah. this usually middle-aged uh, gentleman who ride around in bicycles or go around in motorcycles to read water meters one by one, mm -hmm. usually once every month or once every two months. Very intensive, uh, very, very labor intensive. So what we did was to provide an IoT solution again where we provided the seams and things like that uh, to be able to read the water meters uh, automatically without the, the need for, for manual labor, right? This not only uh, increases the efficiency of the agency, but it also cuts down in terms of uh, water loss uh, because of uh, perhaps spillage or perhaps uh, broken pipes and things like that. So those are three examples. Maybe talk to us a little bit about some of the notable uh, telecommunications related uh, trends among enterprises that you've observed. Okay, number one is of course uh, the journey to the cloud. Right. And whether you're a large enterprise or mid-market enterprise, there's this uh, desire and an imperative to migrate their systems and processes uh, to the cloud mm. uh, for efficiency, for security, and also uh, in terms of uh, cost effectiveness. So that's a, very big, uh, that's a very big trend towards that. And when you migrate to the cloud, uh, one imperative is, is, of course, very fast, secure, and uh, reliable connectivity because you are constantly connecting to the cloud mm. to get your data, to get your data process uh, and, and, and things like that. Uh, and secondly, to go along with that too is the need for cybersecurity. So I'll say that the three things that uh, any enterprise needs, whether it's an SME to a very large uh, enterprise, is of course that sec fast, secure uh, Connectivity, that's number one. Number two is that, uh, that migration to the cloud. And number three is the cybersecurity. Was there anything in, in particularly in 2023 that you were watching as a player in the telecommunications, telecommunication space that caught your attention? Well, of course, yes. I think in terms of the telco space, right, the number one and front and center is, of course, 5G. Yeah. Right, uh, 5G is a hotly, in a way, debated topic in Malaysia. Uh, and it's one that we've launched and we launched very successfully, uh, I think back in August 2023. Uh, and I think we achieved one of the fastest take up of 5G in the world for, uh, in terms of Maxis. And could you wrap up, I guess, the year uh, that was for Maxis business? We grew satisfactorily. Uh, we just closed the year, so I can't tell you for sure yet that, uh, how fast we grew because we haven't really closed our books. But uh, looking at the forecast numbers, we grew satisfactorily. We grew, oh, I'm, uh, I think it's safe to say, faster than Malaysia's G GDP growth rate. And we look towards uh, this year, 2024, uh, with great expectations and great hopes uh, in terms that we'll grow even faster than last year, 2023. Mm. Uh, what do you expect, I guess, to help you in this growth story of yours? Um, a few things. Um, number one is um, being that integrated telco mm. that's the trusted partner for all enterprises, uh, big and small. Uh, one that we are able to, you know, uh, serve very well. One that we keep our promises to. One that we deliver on our commitments. And secondly, is also we also want to make it easy for customers to do business with us. Right. We want to make it so simple that uh, the customers can transact easily with us any time of the day and night, any day of the week, any day of the month. Um, Eng, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I was speaking with Go Xiao Eng. He is the Chief Executive Officer of Max's Berhad. And we were talking about the importance of connectivity in transforming, elevating and driving growth for businesses of all sizes. This was the final episode of a four-part series where we were decoding digitalization with Max's business. I'm Roshan Kainison. This was Tech Talk for BFM 89.9, The Business Station. <laughs>